Hi, Becky. Um, I'm going to start at the very beginning here and show you some things that you need to know to self-manage uh, your WordPress site. And hopefully I can be brief. I tend to ramble, so I'll warn you about that. Um, but I'm sending you an email. And in that email will be your username and your password and the address to go to. I just logged out so that you could see what these fields look like. Uh, but you're going to see something you won't see. You just logged out, but you will see these two. And um, you have your own login. And I have mine as administrators. And so uh, you'll enter your uh, username, which in your case is your name, not your email address. And uh, I'm going to log in with mine here. And again, we're both administrators. So, but I want to walk you through what you see and what it's called and how to get around here and how you can pretty much ignore about 80% of what you see here in the center and what you see along the side here. So we're gonna, this is called the dashboard and you'll hear people refer to the WordPress dashboard. And um, this is the left-hand column and where there are lots of different options and access to different areas. And um, if there is expanding to them, you can hover over it and it will expand and give you options. Or you can just click on, I'm going to click on pages here uh, and not the one that expanded out. Takes you to the exact same place. And these are the pages that are currently um, in your site. And uh, a couple of things here. This was an original artist statement page that I made and um, it's no longer published. So it's just in draft mode. This is your real artist statement. These are the pages that contain uh, your galleries and I'll show you that in a minute. But this is a default that comes with um, WordPress. And so it stays in draft unless you absolutely need a privacy policy. This is your purchase info. And again, here's another page that comes automatically with WordPress. And I'm gonna go into this for just a second here to show you uh, the interface. And then we'll go to like the About the Artist page or some another uh, text-based page. Okay. This is called the editing area, and there are two tabs over here. One says text, and that's the area that I'm in most of the time because I'm editing code. You don't have to know any of this stuff. And then there is the visual tab. And um, to see both of them, just know that if you see a page that looks like an awful lot of stuff that shouldn't be there, click to the visual tab. And uh, this is a good page to start. If you want to just highlight text, you can highlight it and uh, type over it. If you want to make it bold, it's just like uh, Word or uh, any word processing program. If you want to make it bold, did that. If you want to make it, you highlight it to make it italic. And uh, to undo, you do that. Or if you find yourself typing and it's not uh, doing the way you want to, uh, there is an extra row of icons and functionality here. And uh, it includes an undo and a redo if you need. And you can also highlight text and change the text color. And here's your palette. Um, and so again, very much like a uh, Microsoft Word or any of the text editing programs. Now there is an icon here and I'm gonna 
warn you or tell you about the caution about it. Um, it is this text icon right here. And it indicates that you can paste from Microsoft Word into this area. I'm going to uh, tell you that uh, Microsoft Word or an email, if you're copying from an email, they bring in a lot of code that you don't need and that you don't want and can make your page look really wonky. Um, regular plain text does not have a whole lot of code around it. This has some, uh, but regular text is in a paragraph, which is what those P's stand for. Anyways, um, you don't, you really don't want to enter text that you've copied and pasted. And, uh, it's easy to just put your cursor someplace uh, and then just start typing. So here are the things that you need to know about pages. Posts are blog articles. Okay, going back to what WordPress and blogs were started out being about, and that was uh, they are posts. You don't have any posts on your site other than the, uh, let me cancel this out. Okay, well, let me do that so you can see that again. Um, I added text here, okay, and I didn't do anything to save it, and I'm trying to go to another area. Um, and it asks, do you really want to leave? And I can say cancel. Uh, to that, we'll go into posts in just a second. Let me cancel out that. Um, there are a couple of status capabilities uh, for your pages. Since this is a, a draft, it has not been published. So it says publish. You have the option. And you only have that when you start a new page or you are working on a draft. So I could save the draft or I could publish it. So I'm going to publish this because this is really easy to undo. Uh, I'm just going to say publish. It spins around and now any changes that I make will be an update rather than publishing and the save draft is no longer there. Now you can Sorry about that pop-up. You can just ignore most of what is over here uh, for your purposes. Uh, you've got enough to focus on with your uh, portfolio section. So update if you make some changes. Uh, and if you feel like you've totally screwed it up, go to another page or another area and ignore that leave thing. And uh, for the most part, what you were working on may not be saved. There is a function inside WordPress, and it auto-saves um, every so often. Uh, so let's click here. I'm back to pages about the artist. Now, the section below here uh, is on all the pages. And on some pages, there's information there. And on some pages, there isn't. And this is the mobile content area. So let's say you decide currently, get rid of that. Currently, Becky paints, and you want to change this to watercolors. OK? You do that. You just, and I'm not going to save this. You just highlight that and change it. But because there's a special. Uh, mobile version, and this is where I get uh, caught up a lot. Uh, you also have to change it here in the mobile version. And the mobile version has all the same icons and capabilities, and um, it has the visual tab and it has the text tab. Now, that's some nice clean text there without 
unnecessary coding. Not that coding is necessarily bad, but uh, so uh, that's what we have here. Um, so this is the desktop version. This is the mobile content. Okay. And um, again, to change it, you highlight the text. Changing the image is a little bit different. Um, that didn't come out right, but and uh, but I have it aligned right. You can align at the center. You can align it left, and um, you can also align it none. So let me show you here the difference between align left and align none. Align left will wrap text, okay, around it. Now, the reason I put your photo on the right-hand side is people read web pages. Um, let me go over here and show you what research has shown, okay? People read pages, and they start, and then they start going down the page, down the left-hand side. And uh, research has shown that one of the best ways to get people to bring their eye from this side of the column um, over to the full line length to read it is by putting images over on the right hand side. So that's why I have it over there. But um, just to show you here, what I did was I clicked on the image, it brought up the image handles is what they're called, and I said left, and there's the text that is uh, wrapping around it. If you say no alignment, then the text starts immediately after the image. So I'm going to align this right back the way we had it. Um, just in case anything got wonky, I'm going to click update. to. Okay, so that's editing uh, the pages. And again, if you edit a page that has mobile content down here, uh, be sure to edit that also. So um, we're going to get into the uh, area right now of how to add and remove images from your galleries. And again, most of the stuff you can ignore. Most of the stuff on the right you can ignore, except for that update button which saves things um, and uh, okay this deals with the theme itself and you don't have to worry about that so we're going into the area where your front page images are your botanicals and your figuratives and it's over here under galleries you're using a version of uh, next gen next gen gallery and um, it does some things that I especially like, and it's helping the mobile view on your galleries also. So you can ignore overview. And these are the only two that you need to do, deal with, adding a gallery or images, and then getting into your existing galleries. These can all be ignored. And, uh, so I'm going to click on Galleries here. And it's going to take us to the three galleries that I've created to display your images. Now, Front Rotator, I have a shadow on those images, and I have them specially sized. Um, so if you want to add some to the front, uh, you might drop me a note. Uh, and I can work on the images in Photoshop uh, to get the drop shadow on it and get the sizing uh, correct, as you'll see here. These are all 1,300 by 1,000 pixels. And again, the only reason is because the front rotator is what I call for decorative purposes. It's not for describing the paintings. It's the opening to your magazine that is or your gallery magazine so um, this is under the galleries area here 
uh, it will tell you how many images are in each gallery. And so then we're going to go to one of the galleries that uh, is more likely what you're going to be wanting to add or remove from. Uh, you can ignore all of this up here. Uh, there's a lot of ignoring to do. And uh, so this is where the images are listed. Um, when I uploaded the images, which you'll see in just a minute, um, it automatically took the file name and uh, the it sized it uh, proportionately. And this is going to be, uh, I hope, a fun, good thing for you. Uh, the you don't have to size an image before you add it to your gallery. This gallery system will size it, uh, but make sure that your image is uh, larger than 600 pixels, uh, 800 pixels by 600 pixels. Um, and most of yours, when they were uh, reduced, came down to 600 pixels by 400. There's the one that is uh, 800 by close to 600. It just didn't have any more uh, pixels to add there. But so that's where pixel size makes a difference. But again, uh, don't worry about it that much. When I hover over the image areas here, it brings up uh, some uh, options here that hopefully you'll never have to deal with. And uh, so what we have here is this is where the title is. Let's go into so that you can see where things are coming from. Okay, agave and blue. Um, this is automatic, this text, picture two of 10. Okay, uh, and that's a helpful tool for people visiting your portfolios. So here's um, where it says agave and blue and these boxes can be expanded. And then this is the text uh, that you wanted, um, the description below it. Now this is what the only time you're gonna have to add any code and you might just copy this little snippet here and just save it someplace. Um, because when you add images, and you can always come up to one of these images and just grab it and make the changes, copy and paste. Uh, this BR stands for baseline return, which means a line return. Two BRs stands for two baseline returns, and it produces the space here, the double spacing. Um, and this is just a style thing that I like to do to uh, kind of showcase about the art and separate it from your narrative and also of course to show the price. So um, that's where that space comes from. And again, you can just grab the corners of these, bring them down to make them larger and uh, you'll do fine. Now let's just say that um, you want to remove one of these paintings from your botanical section. There are two ways to do it. And in WordPress, you'll come to find there are multiple ways to do the same thing. So there is not one absolutely right thing, right way to do it in many cases. So if you wanted to take a Gavian blue, let's just say, and uh, for some reason you want to take it out of the botanical section. One simple thing you can do is check it there and then click Save Changes. Okay, again in WordPress and in this interface the important buttons are usually in blue uh, and that's about saving things. 
uh, if you want it back, uh, you disable that and save changes. The other way to do uh, a deletion is to come down here and just click delete and it will uh, confirm it and then uh, remove it. If there is another way, let's just say you wanted to delete four images and I'm going to click on four images over here to say this is what I want to work with and then I have these bulk actions and I can delete the images um, and click apply and it will say do I want to delete those four I'll say yes and it'll delete them and then I save the changes uh, we don't want to delete these because these are gorgeous paintings. Uh, but that's how some of this works. If you uh, have an image taken, and I get this um, sometimes from the artists that I work with who are shooting iPhone photos, when you upload it, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute here, when you upload it, it is turned clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, by 90 degrees because it was photographed in portrait position on the camera. So if it were, you can click it and even though you're only doing one thing, well you could click rotate here and you can also click rotate up here. Um, they've thought of a lot of different things here. And uh, so this is what this interface looks like now. Again, ignore all of this, this area right here, you edit and it does, oh, over here, this code doesn't matter whether it's caps or lowercase, but this is just text editing. For now, don't worry about tags at all. This is the exclude button, and it's going to be um, when you want an image to not show up. Now, I'm going to show you something kind of goofy right now, but I most artists want to be able to, to do this. So without highlighting everybody, um, I'm going to tell it that I want to sort the gallery. And by sort, it means I want to change the order of appearance for the images. So I click sort gallery, and here are the images. And this is the order that they appear in. Now, just one other word of caution here. If you just excluded and not deleted an image, if you excluded an image, it's still going to be in here. So you have to kind of turn a blind eye to it. But let's just say we want orange blossoms where red cabbage is. I literally just click on it and drag it over there. And uh, then it's in place. And this is how and, and as your gallery grows, you'll see it'll go to two lines and you can still uh, just move things around by clicking a single click and uh, move them like that. Now, once you have done it, uh, you need to click the blue button, update, sort, order. Again, the blue buttons in WordPress are the important ones. Um, if you wanted to sort by file name, uh, title, date and time, ascending, descending, you can do that. Uh, but I have them in a sort order here. So I'm just going to update the sort order. It tells me that it's been changed. And then I can go back to the gallery um, by going over here or by clicking the back button in my browser. Okay. So maybe more than you ever want to know, but um, that's how to manage once you have the images in place. So to add an image, this is the other area under galleries. And again, this may not be expanded. Um, let's see. Uh, when you en first enter your dashboard, but uh, click Add Gallery and Images. And this does two things. One, if you want to have a new gallery, you can put the name there. And if you want a description, 
for your purposes, but we're not adding galleries right now. So we're going to go over here to images and it uh, wants you to pick what gallery are these images going to be in. And I'm just going to say figurative because we haven't visited uh, that gallery section necessarily. And then this is Drop your files in this window and, or select files. On a PC, the dragging and dropping uh, just doesn't happen much, or at least I don't do it much. So I'm going to say select files. Now, uh, I'm just going to grab a couple of images here uh, from Fiber Artists of Oklahoma. And I just only, and then we'll delete them. Um, so I want to see, these are small images. Do I have any big images? Um, let's just try a few of these. Now, uh, you can hold down the control button or hold down the shift button on a PC and you can get the um, multiple images. And this interface that you're seeing here is what you see a lot in WordPress. So this is a kind of a default WordPress option for uh, adding images or, you know, if you're adding an image to your blog article or to your about page. So anyways, this is just to show you what happens. Okay. So I'm uploading them into figurative and this thing won't go away. And it lists the images here. Now, if I wanted to add more to it, I could select files again, etc. cetera. Um, again, with WordPress, the blue button is the one to pay attention to. It says your images will be rescaled to a maximum width of 800 pixels and a maximum height of 600. No telling what this size of these images were, and I would be surprised if uh, they were... Uh, that large to start out with. But here we go. Just uploading the images and it goes through this process and then it uploads and creates thumbnails. Now, uh, once this is done, your list is no longer there. Your gallery is no longer uh, showing as the one you selected. And you can go back over to galleries and go to figurative and I'll scroll down till we find these goofy ones that I added. Here we go. Uh, well, they did turn out to be decent size. Now, at this point, these images look like this. It will grab the file name minus the extension. So. Uh, and by the way, this one is excluded uh, because I have this one where the text is. So here are the images. Let's go to figurative. Well, I don't know why my email keeps popping up. Okay, so here's an image. And if you had no text, this is what you have. Okay, so... Uh, isn't this fun fiber art that's uh, from their big show? I managed their website. So um, what you want to do is highlight, you know, and I'm just adding uh And then we're going to do the two baseline return code. And uh, this would be, well, let's just put a price here. Okay. And again, from here, scroll up or scroll. Huh, nope, no scrolling down here. Scroll up and click Save Changes. 
and I'll go back. I'm going to reload that page. And it puts the title up there and it puts the text, the spacing, and then your price. So does that make sense? Um, again, the good news is you don't have to resize anything. Um, okay. Yeah, these were uh, ones that you uh, sent me other options for. That's why they have exclude over there. Uh, so anyways, here are the ones we uploaded. If we wanted to sort and put them at the beginning of the page, uh, again, the ones here are the ones that uh, I did not, uh, that I excluded. And so you just sort of have to keep that in mind as you're moving pictures around. Um, I'm going to go back to gallery. And I'm going to get rid of these images uh, from Fiber Artists. Uh, okay, I've got one, two, three that I uploaded. Make sure they didn't end up someplace else. Yeah, there's the magic butterfly, and you, that I. Um, Hold on a second, excluded. And then here's where we uploaded. I think it was another version of it. Same with Riot Girl. So I've got these three. And I'm going to do a bulk action. Delete the images. I'm going to click apply. See, it wants to know. Uh, bulk edits. Yes. And they are gone from here. They are gone from, let's go to your figurative gallery. They are gone from here. So we're doing good. So kind of a quick overview here. If an image is excluded, um, don't worry that it doesn't have any text. And so to add images, you go to add gallery or images. You're adding images. You're going to select the gallery. You're going to select the files and upload them. They're going to appear over here. And then you'll upload the images. Let it go through the process of uploading the images and creating thumbnails. And we love it that it makes things the right size. So you don't have to worry about that to start out with. And that's how you add and remove. And I'm sure I'm overlooking something, but um, to get you going and uh, make sure that you feel a little bit comfortable, uh, that's what you'll need. So again, pages to edit the text in your pages. Galleries, just add images. And then to manage the galleries is here. And then you can pretty much ignore the rest of everything that's there and enjoy your very, very pretty art on your website. And I'm going to finally be quiet. So <laughs> I'll get this process, this video process to end, send you a link. Thanks, Becky.